Um, when I was a wee boy, I used to, uh, to my mother wasn't very happy about it, but I used to draw pictures on the wallpaper, sometimes using her lipstick and makeup and whatever I could get my hands on. I was always drawing from as long as I remember, always. The Donegal landscape really is a, a total inspiration for me. I just love, I love walking into the hills and looking around me and, and uh, I, I seem to store stuff within me memory and it comes out later on. I don't always have a sketch pad with me, indeed very seldom, but um, I would see something and maybe return later with a sketch pad and do a painting or do a drawing then there and then and do a painting back in the studio. I prefer working in the studio, although I've started this last while working out, out the doors, completing paintings outside, but uh, I tend to invent landscapes almost. And I don't paint them literally at all whatsoever. You know. So uh, the, the painting might not resemble the place it's supposed to be at all. <laughs> Someone says to me, but there's no houses over there. And I says, I know, but it looks better to, to put a house there. <laughs> Watercolour, I just um, start off very lightly and build it up. Uh, I, I usually start with the sky and work down. The sky will probably change colour about 10 times, and then I go over it again. Uh, mixed media is completely different. I do sometimes, I don't really know what I'm going to do and I stick, cut up bits of magazine and stick them onto the paper and it just adds another dimension and I'll keep working on it. That gives me ideas and then paint it all over and it just keeps changing until I'm happy with it. It usually ends up as a sort of a landscape of Donegal. I remember any time I went abroad to Portugal or Spain, I just couldn't. I tried to do paintings there. They were silly looking things, I couldn't do them. I don't know, the colours were too bright or something, I don't know. It makes me happy that other people enjoy the paintings and um, it's something that people will have for all time, you know, and it'll be handed down. So I, I'm proud of those sort of aspects of it, but I, I don't think about it in that way, you know. I just do the painting and Whatever, someone takes it away, that's the end of it, as, I'm con as far as I'm concerned. Most of the artists I admire are abstract artists. Uh, I, lo I love Francis Bacon stuff, but I would never try and attempt to do anything like it. I love uh, 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 an abstract artist, uh, John Shinners from Limerick, and totally abstract. I just lo love those paintings, I love the textures and those paintings, but they're not landscape artists. There's a, a watercolours book I saw, I, I bought it in Dublin in Easton's and it, it totally amazed me. Uh, instead of these nice pretty watercolours of um, flowers and what have you, was the, uh, they're just bleak landscapes of Scotland and the north of England and that uh, inspired me a lot. Uh, it's a big influence on me. John B Blockley was his name. He's dead now but his, his landscapes, his watercolours are just amazing. Very atmospheric and almost abstract as well. I think you just have to keep at it and keep at it. Don't wait on inspiration, just it's, it's, it's work, it's like everything else, to be successful, you need to put an effort in and to work hard at it. And uh, as regards getting stuff into galleries, I, I know it's not easy, but you just have to keep uh, pestering the gallery owner and they'll let you in eventually. Hopefully. <laughs>